All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Jamal Bowman here in this video. Democrat socialist from New York in the House of Representatives. Now, you guys already know what went down. Jamal Bowman pulled the fire alarm. During an official proceeding in the House of Representatives. To me, guys, this guy sounds like an insurrectionist because there's people locked up from January 6th for disrupting an official proceeding. People locked up right now from January 6th haven't had a trial and they're still locked up. Jamal Bowman probably should actually get the same treatment. Now, it's going to be real interesting, guys, to actually see how strong the Republicans in the House are, because there's no doubt about it, guys. If Nancy Pelosi were still in charge of the House and a Republican did what Jamal Bowman did. She'd be trying to get them expelled from the House of Representatives. Now, Kevin McCarthy came out, talked a pretty good game, and he wants Jamal Bowman punished. This man should be expelled from Congress. He was actively going out there trying to disrupt this proceeding. To have the government shut down. Now, the government won't be shut down. It's uh, going to be extended. Um, the government is going to be open for 45 days. I believe it's already uh, passed the Senate. And I do believe that uh, Beijing Biden did sign off on it. Maybe Jamal Bowman was upset because uh, Ukraine is getting no money. At least for the next 45 days with this extension, there was no money in it whatsoever. But this man. An elected official going out there actively trying to shut down the government. Yeah, this man needs to be expelled. So we're going to be seeing how strong the Republicans are now I have little faith. In the Republicans. But the Democrats, man. If the Democrats were in charge, boy, they would be unified. Trying to oust a Republican that did something like this. There is no excuse for what Jamal Bowman did. No excuse. He was acting like um, he was in a middle school or high school. I remember when I was in a high school, uh, people would actually um. Pull the fire alarm, just get out of class and we'll be outside, you know, for like an hour. The fire department has to come in. And by that time, it's pretty much time to go home. And it always happened, you know, right at the end, you know, during the last period of classes. It always happened like that. I believe that probably happened like three or four times when I was in, uh, in high school. But Jamal Bowman is supposed to be an elected official in Congress. I don't know what the Democrats are doing, but this is a very, very unprofessional man. You know, just like on the Senate side, Chuck Schumer allowing um, allowing people just to wear whatever they want inside of the Senate. To please Uncle Fester, John Fetterman, even though now that got overturned. So the suits are back in order over there on the Senate. And for the first time ever, I actually agree with Mitt Romney because he actually um, put forward the bill to actually install the dress code. So that's probably the only time I'm ever going to agree with Mitt Romney. But anyway, Jamal Bowman came out and he gave the most BS statement as to the reason why he actually pulled the fire alarm. Now, guys, I've seen fire alarms. They don't look like doorknobs. They don't open any doors. This man thinks you are stupid. Jamal Bowman really thinks you are stupid. Look at this. This is from um, his official uh, X page here. Give me a follow next, guys. I'm almost at 700 followers over there. I believe I, I'm like at 685 at real John Matrix. You can see me right down here at the lower left hand corner. Two X's. Help me out. But this is the statement here. Put out by Jamal Bowman. You guys are going to be stunned. This man is getting destroyed for this statement. It says here statement from Congressman Jamal Bowman. 
I want to personally clear up confusion surrounding today's events. Today, as I was rushing to make a vote, I came to a door that is usually open for votes, but today would not open. I am embarrassed to admit that I activated the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it would open the door. I regret this and sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused. But I want to be very clear. This was not me in any way trying to delay any vote. It was the exact opposite. I was trying. I was uh, trying urgently to get uh, to a vote, which I ultimately did and join my colleagues in a bipartisan effort to keep our government open. I also met after the vote with the sergeant at arms and the Capitol Police at their request and explain uh, what had happened. My hope is that no one will make more of this than it was. I was working hard every day, including today, to do my job, to do it well, and deliver for my constituents. Peace and love. Yeah. Are we really supposed to believe that this man pulled a fire alarm thinking it would open a door? Now, guys, a fire alarm is actually a red. It's red and it actually says pull here to activate the fire alarm. It ain't opening no doors. This man is full of shit. He thinks that his constituents and his colleagues are dumb and stupid. I'm wondering what uh, Hakeem Jeffries is actually going to say about this, uh, because ha Hakeem Je Jeffries, right after it, the alarm was pulled and he was actually uh, with the media. He said that um, he hadn't seen the tape. I believe uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene also said she hadn't seen the tape, but everybody sees those pictures now. And she wants this man prosecuted because he did pretty much the same thing. Some of those people on January 6th did disrupted an official proceeding. But his excuse. Doesn't make any sense, doesn't hold any water whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, C.J. Pearson says you're a clown. Now, look at this here. This right here. Really does expose Jamal Bowman here. Yeah. Uh, Greg Price puts out this door mark. Emergency exit is uh, one I usually take to get to votes. And I thought pulling this red box that said fire would open it. Nobody's buying this because uh, look here, guys. Here is a picture right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Those double doors right there. Those are like in emergency exits, I believe. Yeah, it does. And it says emergency exit only right there. And the fire alarm is right there. It's red right here on the left side. It looks like a typical fire alarm. This is a picture of Jamal Bowman. Same place right there. Pulling the fire alarm that says fire alarm. Nobody is believing this. Nobody. Now that everybody has seen this, man, I wonder what uh, the Democrats are going to say. What are they going to say? I don't know how they can actually defend this. If they're going to go along and buy that Jamal Bowman was trying to open a door. Man, I can sell you ice water and hell. This man knew exactly what he was doing. The sign. Right there. Emergency exit. The file on red right there. He, and he's pulling it. This is the official photo right there. This man's full of shit. Nobody is buying it. Nobody should buy this. My goodness, man. I mean, he 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 is a radical man. He's a part of the squad. He's a socialist. Maybe he did it because he knows that maybe nothing is going to happen to him because he's a Democrat. Kevin McCarthy. This man needs to be expelled. The Republicans should be unified 
to expel this man for what he did. It is disgusting. It's embarrassing. And what makes it worse is his so-called excuse, thinking that he can actually open a door by pulling it. Now, nah, doesn't hold any weight, man. Doesn't hold any weight whatsoever. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I've never been in, in Congress. But I've been in buildings. I've seen many fire alarms. None of them open a door. None of them. Zero. You can't miss it, man. A doorknob and a fire alarm. You, you can't you can't miss that up. You can. So I'm not buying this. I am not buying this. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.